let's start. The first thing I need to do is open up my XAMPP and start the Apache server, start my SQL and keep that running in the background. Now go to localhost, PHP, my admin. Those are my current database. I've already made a database called Sol Term Free. So inside there, I'm going to create a new table. And this table is going to have five different fields. Those are the fields. So I'm going to product ID, product name, description, image, price. So let's do this. So I'm going to call it um, products. And I need five fields. So five, press go. So the first one was product ID. Product ID, I'm going to call it int. Maybe five is enough and keep it as automatic inc increment primary key. Next one, product name, have it as bar varchar 25. Yep, 25 is fine. So this is primary, this is automatic increment. Yep. Product description, varchar 25 is enough. Then I'll go as product image. Product image here, this where you could put your upload any pictures you want. And here you need to choose tiny blob, tiny blob. If you go down, so this is used for images. You don't have to do anything else here. And the last one I'm going to do is product price. Again, I will keep it as int and I'm going to have, say, not more than five. Now if I press save, so this is how my, um, the table looks like. Now let's go and create a form page that we could add data into that table. Okay, so I've just written the HTML page, the form page. So basically I've only got a couple of things. I've got data insertion, product name, the same thing, product description, product image, product price, and a submit button. I don't have to put the ID because the ID is automatic increment. So we don't have to put it in. And make sure it's a form page. So I've got the form, I've got some, some styling done. And the most important part is post. It's gonna post it and it's gonna action whatever is in 1PHP. First, before we go to 1PHP, let's look at how the form page looks like. So I'm gonna go into localhost. Um, I've called it SOAR and I've called it insertion page. So I've added the CSS at the back, I've designed it. So basic, product name, category, image, product price. Um, and the CSS I've used, let me just quickly open the CSS. Style, there you go, that's a bit of CSS I took from the internet, I just added it on. Okay, now the next thing we need to work on is 1PHP. Let me do it and then I will come back to you and explain what I did. Of the PHP. Okay, that's my one PHP page. First thing I did is made connection to my local server. So I've got local host, root, there's no password, and the database name is term free, sole term free. And I'm saying if you could make a connection, make a connection. Otherwise, say you can't connect, send me an error. Then all I need is the four field. Remember, ID is um, default, so that's why I didn't put ID here. So all I need is product name. And this information, I'm saying, get the information of product name from um, from the product insertion page. So I've got product name here. This name should match with this name here, and you should post it to the database field name called product name. Product description, product description, product image, product image. And all I'm saying, insert into products, which is what our database name is. So uh, products, that's the database name product name, product description, product image, product price. That's all, all I have to do is, I'm saying insert everything from there into those fields within the database. And uh, everything I take from there, put it inside there. And the default will always be uh, product ID. And if it is successful, then take me to this page. If it's not, show me the error. So what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna try to insert an item Oh no, let me show you um, the display page. So array display page. Let me do array search one. Let me show you this, then I will explain how I done it. All right, array search one. The first thing I'm saying is connect to my database. So I've just, I could have put the connection here, but you're getting too messy. So I just made a new page. And again, same thing, localhost, root, there's no password. 
and database name is sol free um, database table name is sol free term free and say make the connection if, you, if it doesn't show me the error okay all this stuff the searching and the sorting i'll come back to you later i just want to show you the insertion page now so here from here this is where it's going to insert the data um, let me go down Okay. Okay. Um, one PHP was inserting the data into the products page. So the array search, all it's doing is now is retrieving the information from the database and displaying it on the page. So it's getting the information. I'm saying select all the field from products and go to result and show me the result. So if I go down to the results, all it's doing is, um, this is all sorting. The results are here, product ID and in each it's, it's going to have a table and each column or row is going to have um, different um, information about the product so product id product name product description and this is the important part i'm saying image get the image and show me the image and this is the size of the image it should be i've specified the size and i just have to amend this a bit can you just let me just come back to this the last one is showing me the product price. So I've got the image, product ID, name, description, image, product price. And I'm just saying for each goal, goal is just the variable I've just declared. Now let's see if this works. Let me just save everything. Let's go back to our browser. And let, let's go back to this page. So let's put something in. Say I want to put a laptop. Category will be electronic. Now. I could go and select this product make sure the images you have are on the same folder um, at the moment I don't have a laptop I'm gonna put a speaker then I'm gonna change it to a speaker I'm gonna open this change it to a speaker so I've called the speaker it's the image and the price of the speaker let's make it I don't know $15 $15 submit and as you can see here the image hasn't properly come up um, let me fix this then but you could see speaker came up electronic came up and the number 15 came up so i just want to go back and fix the image show me why it didn't come up let me just see what's wrong with the image. okay so as you can see everything's coming up so i've got speaker electronics the image and the price i've even done example mahmoud my name mahmoud a picture of me mahmoud so let's add another one again let's add a different one let's add say burger what you could do in the drop down you could make this into category into a drop down list let's call it food let's choose a burger make sure the image is there so i've got a burger there and the burger price is ten dollars submit and let's go down again it's problem with the burger the reason is the image is different so let's um, i have to go and change the image format so for it to work okay i fixed the image format so let, i'm going to put in burger food burger.jf that's the file i chose so there is burger and the price is 15 if i submit it now and the format of the picture has been changed i could see i've got burgers that came up here refresh it yep so i've got three burgers the first one didn't come out because i had an image issue now so this is uh insertion dust so this is your table now let's do some um sorting i've done the sort i've done the coding here let me just quickly go for the coding so again i've done different code in here so the first one is a bubble sort and i'm doing bubble sort using the description product description so you must choose the field from the database table i've chose product description you could do price you could do um, product name insertion short again i've used product description it's the same thing as what we did in class i'm saying put in ascending order if it's in ascending order order it like this if it's not in ascending order order it um, from bottom up same for bubble sort as well it's ascending order and also i've done a linear search quick linear search making sure the product id matches the value and if it value product id matches then display me i'm saying the product name so here uh, at the bottom it's going to display me the product name if it finds the search so this is the whole code so let me just show how it works so first do Let's do an ascending order and let's do a bubble sort. I don't have to touch anything else. If I just set, press it, 
and this is this has already been bubble sorted let's do insert and short so um descend in order insertion short submit you can see change so mahmoud is at the top now and speaker is going at the boss he's on descend in order speaker but this is insertion short let's do a bubble sort descend in order and a bubble sort submit similar similar stuff let's change that to ascending and insertion short submit the speakers come at the top now and Mahmoud goes at the bottom okay so now let's do a search so what we're going to do is use the product ID and we're going to search for a product name so if I type in um, no am I using a product ID let me just double check it product description product ID so give me a product name I'm using a product price actually so I'm using product price to search for something so let's check this so I want to find out what item is $15 so what I could do is do a linear search put 15 here submit has not found anything maybe I should do, use the ID so let's use say number two linear search submit there you go number two is Mahmoud so let's do number four let's do I want to find what is item number four let's do a binary search submit item number four is a burger let's add another a different item we've got too many burgers let's go back to my insertion page product insertion page let's add something else let me see what else I have in my let's add a plant so I've got a plant category plants you could have it any category let's choose the file plant and I'm gonna give the plant three thousand dollars submit plant has been added now let's search for the plant number six linear method what is value number six what is item number six submit and item number six is a plant and that's it so this is where I've created a database um, every, I've created a database table I've added field into a database using um, created a product insertion page that adds the field which then connects to one PHP that's the insertion into my database I then created an array search page and that searches for everything um, that searches according to bubble search insertion short that's it asked all of it so what you guys gonna do now is you're gonna use my one as an example and do your own um, searching and sorting for your project so again everything's there that's my example of search sort and you can see everything here hope you enjoy the coding and if you need any help ask me